What, what color is it? Oh, I like that color. You wearing it right now? Really? Why don't you take it off? Nice and slow. Mm. Yeah? Now what are you doing? Oh, are they dirty? They're always dirty, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you too, all night long. Thanks. All right, here he is. It's your dad. Dad? There's no game. They're just jerking the wheel. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you for your love for the rain. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck it, let's go. Why are you wearing the seatbelt? Why friends. are we driving in Europe? Uh, <laughs> right? No, it wouldn't be Europe, just UK or Australia. As we learned, those are called what? They're called... Antipodian. Dun, 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 dun. This is this is a weird. Uh, it's a weird day. It's a weird day. It's a strange, strange day. Hey, I, I brought some sock game. What'd you do? I brought some sock game. Look at that. I got a little. Yeah, you know, I thought I'd come back at you yeah, with some dude. stripes. Just a little thumb. Those. I'm gonna little use something, something. I'm gonna use a Pam word. Those shoes look very cozy, cozy. We're very gray today. Uh, I think we're kind of. I got brought this. a little bit of the color. A little Activision. It does. Does it kind of match? It's, Pride shirt, bro. I didn't really, I didn't really look at it that way. What? Just that I was wearing gray, gray. gray, but I'm good with it. We don't plan this either. Just kind of get in your car. And you don't plan your outfits. You seem no, like no, somebody no, 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 who no, no, would plan no. your outfits. I plan. We don't plan. There's no like, no. hey, what are you wearing tomorrow? I, I go. This is what I'm wearing. Down to the socks. I'm not gonna lie. Down to the underwear. Total difference. You wear underwear? I like when the skin gets stuck in my oh. zipper. Bang, zoom. Whoa, oh. hi. Walk and go. And roll that Ben Stiller clip. Oh, my God, never say. Might be my favorite part of the episode. Really, really is. It, it, it always... <laughs> Makes me hungry though. Oh, uh, what a good setup right? for this. Good setup for what? We are jumping back into this episode because we want to talk to you about Hello, Hello Fresh. Fresh. Ooh, we sing. I like that. That's what we do. It's a jingle now. I, uh, I, I enjoy it. I, I love did. the way they, they sent us this box of pre measured ingredients, mm -hmm. everything you need. You get in there, and you know me, I like the uh, six step pictured recipe <laughs> cards. You don't want to read. Uh, pepper. It was too, it was almost too easy. And I have a tendency to be a creature of habit, so I stick yeah. within my like own little menu. I did pork carnitas. I never would have done that. Nice. Really, really good. Nice. Well, they have all kinds of uh, options, right? They got we do veggie, veggie options, meat, anything you want. Family options or like just single serving kind yeah. of things. You can actually get HelloFresh now from $6.99 per serving. Really? Wait, dude, seven bucks? It's America's number one meal kit. Yep. And uh, you can get I, love, I love the tagline home. get the most for your moolah. Is that the tagline? I know, but I like saying in that voice. It should be like <laughs> Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott, it's good. You can uh... Mostly moolah, roadhouse. <laughs> Eat carnitas at the roadhouse. Stop. You, I have to say cool things. Get started uh, with eight free meals at mm. $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Wow. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter Retro Replay 80. Get it? Uh, HelloFresh.com and enter Retro Replay 80. Uh, you get $20 off each of your first four boxes. So Which is 80. Meals. Which is 80. I did the math real quick. Oh. Now back to the episode. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hmm. What is going to happen, everybody? Nolan North, Troy Baker, Retro Replay. We're back. back on the couch, and I just have one thing to say. What? I under, under, home. 
Huh? That's terrible. Zimbabwe. Aloha! We, Pam and I. This is great. I'm, 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 I'm into this. We were in at our wedding. When, you know, you do the whole, you go to your pictures and the rest of your people, they go to the ceremony and you get them just hammered drunk. That's how you get people to go to a wedding. I was at your wedding. You were at my wedding. Um, I was at your wedding. You just don't know. Was... You're the guy on the beach. They arrested. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I mean, detained. Not really arrested. You can't hold me for more than 24 hours. But um, when you all were mingling and you were attacking the bar... Um, uh, Travis comes out and he goes, it is time. And we played, ah, I know. 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 I And we walked out and that was like our like announcement video or whatever. Or was talk. it? Yep. It was. You were, you were, no, you didn't get drunk on my wedding, did you? No, not really. You actually had some fun stuff. You did that photo booth and you had a bunch of, they had outfits and you go out there. <sighs> everybody booth. jumped to the photo booth and was doing some crazy stuff. Well, okay, stuff. so a lot of people do a photo booth. What we did was an awkward photo booth. Yeah. And so it was like Olin Mills. If you're a kid of the 80s, you remember like the Olin Mills video where it was just like, it was so bad. Uh, let's see if I can't find some of those pictures. I want to see if I can't find a picture of you. I'm sure we have it somewhere. That was a fun wedding, man. It was. It was a very fun wedding. It was. Uh, it was a very small wedding. I, I talked to people who get it's, married. Something and like, small is better. I think so. I think, I mean, like, Greg Miller and Jen, they got married, like, courthouse. Boom. Two of them. Cola. Well, Cola, our friend Cola had, like, a bigger wedding. We went to Chicago. I believe in, like, if you're getting married, destination wedding. Go for <laughs> it. Get married in the coolest place. Invite everybody you want. They just got to get themselves there. That's right. We're getting married in Burma. We need you there. We, well, send me a ticket. I want you so bad to be there. It is two <laughs> days of travel. <laughs> you know what, the, um, the funny thing is, we, we talked about my anniversary. It's July 4th, yes. 20th anniversary. And, but we never really got to, you asked me about the wedding, but mm. truth is, um, <gasps> we got married on July 4th, and we weren't supposed to. And I don't mind talking about it, but we uh -oh. were engaged and found out, like, like the day after we got engaged, we found out Cooper Ramsey North. that we were we were pregnant. Yeah. Cooper Murray North. Cooper Murray North. Right. And uh, Nolan and we were going to and it's Jarrett Ramsey North. That's his middle name. Okay. So no, we uh Social? We <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Four nine eight seven five. No, they uh no, it's funny because um we were gonna have this fall wedding somewhere in like Bel Air. We were thinking about Bel Air Hotel, somewhere in in that area, why, cool. why, why, like Bel Air? What, like, what I don't was know. She the... liked that. She, um, I, and I didn't care, but she, she liked the the area, and it was going to be a fall wedding, and you mm. know, outdoor with those we did fall lanterns, wedding. and we we're like, oh, fall wedding be cool. And then her mom found out. She's like, you're gonna be too big by the fall. So we moved her it up. Her mom was super cool. The coolest, yeah, super cool. Yeah, we lost her way too young, but she, um, her, her, by the way, her nickname for me was Dickhead. So cool. Not a joke. She's like, hi, Dickhead. Can I talk to my daughter? After I talk, she would call me though in the middle of the day. She goes, I need a funny joke. Can you tell me some jokes? And I'm like, yeah, I'd give her filthy jokes. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm gonna take that really? to the girl with the card game. Yeah, she was awesome. Uh, but we uh, we were supposed to have it. We and and like July 4th, the, they uh, they had an opening uh, down in Laguna. Yeah, because nobody and, gets married. And no, but and it was like <laughs> and no, but they had a cancellation. British people get married July 4th. So we had this beautiful outdoor wedding. You walk up and they had beautiful flowers under this this. Uh, uh, like a gazebo, and looked over the ocean. It was beautiful. It's a racket. And you go, so we, she comes down, ah, dude, and we walk in to have the reception. Yeah. And I remember, you know, the, we're having drinks and everything, and you look outside, and they're taking down thousands of dollars worth of stuff and flowers and everything and throwing it all away yeah. and then putting up, like, this Jewish hoopah hmm? to get, and they had another, they had a Jewish wedding there right after. And it was like, right, it, and the, you know, and then the other room, that's where people... Pam was like, we should them. keep these flowers. And I saw on HGTV how you can dry, dry the flowers. I was like, no, we're never going to do that. Yeah. I don't want to have dead flowers everywhere. Choose item that spark joy for me. It's not one of those things, but... Okay. We're going through our garage right now. I am not a hoarder. I'm, I'm not a pack rat. I'm just sentimental. 
There's stuff that I. Do you know who says things like that? A hoarder. Hoarders, pack rats. But I mean, like I like look. If I'm just you, sentimental. I'm very. I, I'm like I. It's a People magazine from 1996. <laughs> yes, but I it had a Formal very Magazine. nice interview I have with Game John Informer Schneider. Ma- <laughs> TV's John Schneider. I have Game Informer magazines of of games that you know. I was like, holy crap! This is the first time that a game that I was in was on the cover. Um, yeah, we cut this cover off and put it in a frame, put it in your office. That's what I should probably do. The yeah. problem is I have zero wall space in my studio. I have none. Not I have, I have pictures that Pam took in Paris as like soundproofing. Which are much nicer. One, than- much, much, much nicer. Um, I've got one like bookcase that's filled with like really cool fan art that, that people have given me. Um, but, but I mean, and, and then sound paneling. I've got no more, I've got no more space. Okay. But it is. Can't use my house. Okay, that's what I was getting to. I already have them. I have them in my bathroom. It helps me shit. Do you? Oh, there's Troy's first game. Just you always like you. It's a. It's a. I. I'm, one of these days, you're actually going to. I went too far with the bit, <laughs> and we should stop shooting the show right now. I was actually and sitting on the toilet today. the other day, and I just oh. sat there, and I'm just you know not really thinking of anything, and I realized I wonder if anybody's ever put like a mirror across the, from the toilet. Yes. What a horrible thing that would be. Yes. Just to look up and see that vein going, I'm going to die here. Um, a- Game Grumps office, they have a mirror opposite of the toilet, and it's just like, hello, mm, hi. Hi, me. Really? <laughs> yes, it's terrible. They have the coolest bathroom in the world, but it's like this huge, like, you know, vault door that you have to open and stuff, and it's, it's like kick ass inside there, but there's just this mirror where you're like, <laughs> it's super weird. Oh, so uh, cool. Well, um, we did the high debate and, and then we went off on a tangent, so people probably don't realize we did that on purpose because today kind of. we're playing The Lion King. King. So many people have asked about this. Yes. They, they saw that we play Aladdin sometimes on our live show. Oh, I love, um, I love Aladdin. And they're like, hey. Is this like Aladdin? Hmm. Okay. It's a Disney property. Um, oh boy! And it's some, it's some jump. Do you want to jump into it? Or do yeah, you want me let's to jump go. Into it? Okay. Uh-huh. Um, it is. I, I have huge fundamental problems with this, with this game, uh, because. Is this one working? Oh yeah. Hold on. Th- God bless you. I was traveling past. Gesundheit. Okay, I'm all right. No problem. Who put that crab there? Either there were two crabs, they work in pairs. All right, so you are the the young so, lion cub Simba, right? So he jumps and then he roars? Yeah, but do you see up in the upper left there? Yeah. You're, that's that's your uh, that's your roar meter. So you need to let that charge up. There you go. Um, so it's it's gonna be a platformer. Um, and basically your job as, you know, prince of the Wild Pride Lands? Um, so I'm so the lion is king on... of the jungle, but they're not actually in a jungle. They're in the Serengeti. It's a totally okay. different kind of... Uh, you get to oh. just... Like, if you roared at that guy, there you go, and then you can jump on him, boom. Um, oh, I see. So there's a bit of a, you know, oh. feel. Uh, but you just kill things, and they just... Well, oh, there's no consequences I'm not really jump, to it. I'm not killing him, am I? Oh. A lion jumped on an iguana, and he evaporated. Where do you think it went? Into the ground. No, it's dead. And you want to jump. So there's the Aladdin kind of factor. Now, obviously, this came after Aladdin. It's like Aladdin, now he, j- he jumps on a camel, and I always find that hilarious. I remember Aladdin was still in theaters when Lion King came out. I worked at a, yeah, you're drunk. I worked at a video store when Aladdin came out and we watched what, it what all happened? the time. You died. But I didn't touch anything. It, no, yeah, yeah. so you wanna go up there and get that, so that right there, those are those are baddies. So go up there, there you go, scramble, get that, there you go. Um, I was just jumping on them. There you go, but if I you want- run into them, then they will hurt you because you're, <laughs> Okay, I see. And your life is up in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, this game is super hard, and we're going to let you just have fun at this. Gosh. Shit. 
timing is is key. Oh, I see. Look at you. Look at you. Boink. Wait a minute. I might have. Wait. I'm telling you. Dang man. it. Yeah. It's. I don't. Uh, just, okay. So I, <clears throat> I don't like. I I like Simba, and I want him to succeed. I can't. You know who Young Simba was? Young Simba. Young Simba. Jaleel White. Jaleel White. Did I do that? It was Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Um, I do remember that. Of of Home Improvement Farm. Um, bank, there you go. And then the adult Simba. Do you remember who that was? No. I'll give you a little hint. Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. That's right. It was... Matthew Broderick. Oh, that's right, I knew that. Continue? Continue? Yes. yes. Rafiki is no happy. Oh, he's happy now. Rafiki, I'm not going to give up. Do you, Do you know who Rafiki? Rafiki was? Robert Guillaume. Yes, it was. Oh. TV's Benson. <laughs> that's kind of dumb, isn't it? Oh, great pull. You could also have gone like... I'm a huge fan of that show. It was so good. Well, do you remember what his... That was a spinoff, you know. Hold on, hold on. That would have been a spinoff of. Oh, you're never gonna get it. I'm never gonna get it. Never show gonna get it. Soap. <gasps> it was a spinoff of Soap. Isn't that nice, dear? Things that are so much nicer when people think they're nice, don't you think so? I do remember Soap. Soap was, hilarious. dude. You, you're fact, better than this. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what is going. What's going to happen? So, there you go. Eh, eh, eh. I mean. Like comedy. All of these things want to kill you. Now move. Oh, I thought I got him already. You did, but those guys, those beetles, will jump up and explode because that's what beetles do. Can I do this? There you go. So f oh, roaring can... freezes them. Shit balls. Oh, come on, man. Poor Simba. He's like. Not poor you... Simba. This kid is a rebellious. Precocious young kid who needs to learn a lesson. Wow. And we're here to teach it to him. Why can't is, are you talking about me? Mm-mm. I gotta jump on this guy just just right. You, gotta, you gotta jump and go. Oh, oh man. He's little blue beetles. Little blue beetles. Little blue beetles. Um so the reason why I bring up the older version of Simba is because eventually you get to play as the older Simba. Because that's what the movie did, famously. Do you remember this movie being in theaters? Did you see this in theaters? I saw this in theaters. It's and a date and night for me, homie. What, who were you? I, uh, I had kids, I think, didn't I? How old was 94? this? 95. Oh, I didn't have kids then. Uh, I was probably... 94? Yeah, because uh, Aladdin was 93, so this was 94. <laughs> Westwood Studios, man. Woof. Look at that. Do you, want me, do you want me to show you how it's done? Bunch. Boink. Boink. Wait, come on. Uh, the timing's off. I'm, I I don't want to hurt little Simba. I do want you to play this in a minute. Okay. I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it here. Now, do if I just stood here, does my health grow, or do I have to find? Yeah, out? no. There's no regenerative health in these things, man. So oh, what is that? What is that? That thing. That's a oh. checkpoint. Oh. So. I got my timing down. Now I got my timing down. Can I do it? I can. Oh, there's something up there. Yeah, I remember this. I've never played this mm -hmm. game. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. You know, the the remakes, the the reboot. They're doing Aladdin, and then they do this. They did. What was the um, the big one that I remember was uh, Jungle Book. You know, Mowgli. Well, did they do two of those? It was yeah. like Andy Circus's one. Well, I, I didn't see it. I, I remember seeing. Uh, oh, oh, that's a nasty looking thing. Do you jump on that too, or do you do something different? So you're supposed to. When he gets tired, you jump on him. Woof. This is a lot harder than Aladdin. It's yep. 
super hard, dude. And, but it, you feel bad, too. Oh, it's no, just I don't do that. I want to go to the, uh, how do I go to the options menu? I don't know if you can. You can. Well, let me try. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what this <gasps> is about? Bulge.com. All right. What a wonderful setup for the... Give it to him. Big inhale. What? Oh, from instruction book, parenthetical statement. Sunrise awakens the animals of Africa to gather at the foot of Pride Rock, paying homage to the newborn prince, Simba. Simba. Son of Mufasa, the Lion King. The circle of life. It's the circle of life. In the moves of sun, on the free day wheel, on the blessing ball. No, man, I can't. Uh, the way of the Pride Lands and all who dwell there tells of all how things are connected, how all what? animals depend upon one another for survival, and how both itself is just the beginning of the circle. Simba's journey takes a different route, however, when his evil Uncle Scar, played by Jeremy, Jeremy Irons, uh, starts a wildebeest stampede. Mm, wild beasts is what we call them in elsewhere. The Lion King Mufasa is killed, spoiler, and young Simba leaves to exile. What am I gonna do? Run away and never return. Thinking that it's all his fault. Meanwhile, Scar and his hyenas take over Pride Lands and lead it to ruin. We said the movie. Why do they tell us the plot of the movie? Guide Simba as he explores his future kingdom. Overcome the wicked <laughs> hyenas in the elephant graveyard. Experience real power as Simba grows into an adult lion. You say adult or adult? Wait, I just rolled. How did I do that? Oh, very carefully. Uh, only then will Simba be ready to challenge his ruthless Uncle Scar and take his rightful place in the Circle of Life! My name is Elton. I ought to blue bug just... He did another soundtrack too, by the way. He did the soundtrack to one of my favorite enemies. Road to El Dorado. El Dorado, El Dorado. Did you do that one? I didn't know. Kevin that. Klein, Kenneth Branagh. Yeah, the whole thing. Like, oh man. Man, I can't this get game my timing is so down. So frustrating. On this. Um, hey, there are two bonus levels in which he plays either Timon or Pumbaa to gain extra lives. It continues. It's super hard. You're like catch the bugs, and Timon throws one bug, and if you don't do it, it that's it. Same thing as like a boo with the vases. Really? Um. Two of the game's levels, Hakuna Matata, it means no worries. and Be Prepared. Be prepared. For the wonder I am. Be prepared. All right, so we have some Chiat codes. We need Chiat codes Thanks because to we need to chat Disney. Drew Lewis. Um, Drew Safish. If you have a six button controller, you can knock Scar off the cliff by pressing the X button. Whoa. That's it right there. Whoa. We do That's have a six day. button controller. We might get to that in a second. In the options screen, press right. Press right. A, A, B, start. A, B, start. Boom. Okay, so cheat mode will appear. It gives level select and invincibility. Cheat codes and game. Oh no, we're in the stampede level! Okay. Uh oh, you know what that Get is. Get out of the wildebeest stampedes! Ah, oh, what a terrible, terrible moment. What is Disney's infatuation with killing, oof, ah, killing parents? Oh, they're, now they're trying to kill a baby. Oh, there's rocks too? Come on. Well, this isn't so... Oh, I can jump. I can jump. This is before that moment. 
What does this look like? This is like the rug ride. Oh my level. god, this is rug ride. Let's give me a little heads up. Ooh, I remember this. So what do you know? What's different about this than other Disney movies? Well, they don't kill. They kill the dad, not the mom. Which you know. Hey. Um, it's set in Africa. True story. But what do you mean? Is the they kill the dad and the mom? Is that? I guess that. That was the thing. Dumbo's. Dumbo's. Well, mom was imprisoned. What happened? Um. You beat it. First try, but you you lost the buzzer. You've never done that. That's why I'm so confused right now. Roar at monkeys. Ro <sighs> okay, so this is the second level. So it did the same thing as Aladdin does. It drops you to the second level. That's a pain thing. What? This is fun. Go for it. I, I dare you. What do I Have do? Have fun. Jump. Just like, yep, there you go. And then, what do you want to do? You want to jump, maybe? Go. Screw it. Just, there you go. There you go. Ah! Oh! Into the water you go. And Simba drowns. Um, that's true. So that it was... seems incredibly difficult. Bambi's mom. Um, Fox and the Hound was different. They killed the best friend. And we'll always be friends forever. Won't we? Yeah, forever. Right. But the, the thing is, they just kill people. There we go. It definitely, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the yeah, Joseph yeah, Campbell yeah, thing where they like, yeah, they yeah, kill, yeah. oh, that's not good. They kill the parents. That's like a Joseph Campbell hero's journey yes. thing, right? Just can't wait to be king. Oh, I see. I gotta move quickly. They don't like me on there. Oh. All right, hold on. Pause. When you became a dad, <sighs> you gotta sneeze? Kinda. No, go ahead. When I became a dad, did you, was there like a moment or moments where you go, I, I, I would consider my own mortality a lot? Oh, all the time. Did it like get worse though when you became a dad? Like, yeah. No, I never thought about it. I mean, I was one of those, I didn't care. I didn't, I mean, I, I never thought about, it's like, no, I'm not going to die. I got too much to do. <laughs> and then you get a kid and you're like, oh no. I have to stay around. Yeah, I got to stay around. I mean, there's there's something. Michael Keaton did a movie where he has, he's dying of cancer uh, called, called My Life. I can't believe and, you're referencing and this he, movie. In it, at the end, he knows he's 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 gonna go, right. and he has a son on the way, and he does a series of videos, videos of like, okay, this is how you throw a ball. You know, this is how you shave. Now you want to go with the strokes. You know, and he does videos. Never heartbeat. Never sideways like that so you know his son will grow up he will teach him the lessons life lessons that he wants to pass on to him and it's just so touching it's heartbreaking and i remember thinking of that going it's super selfish and you know the people who do it i commend you but i the the thought of somebody else my son calling someone else dad mm. um because i was gone it's it just I, I, I don't, and, and I don't mean that in, the, in, in a bad way. It's just personal kind of, oh God, no, no, no. I need to be there. I want to teach you those things. I, I, I'm your dad. And um, I remember seeing that movie and, and that was one of those things. And it would crop up in my mind a lot, especially when they were little. Just the little things I think that we take for granted. And, uh, but yeah, I always, I, and to this day, you know, as I get older, I think, man, I got to stay in shape, not for vanity as much as I need to for be healthy. healthy. I need to be healthy. I don't want, I want to still be active and be doing things, you know, and, and, you know, I'm not so much worried about it right now, but where am I in 10 years? And I think about 10 years ahead and I think of people like Graham McTavish. I was just that, about to And he's to like in up. better shape than I am now. So I'm like, okay, so I know that, you know, if I can get in great shape, that, that 10 and, and I know guys that I, I've played golf with that are in their late 60s, and they're in great shape. Right. It is doable. You just have to have that commitment to it. I saw that, that video that Graham put up, and he's in the gym doing the ropes. And I'm like, if I can look like that in 15 years, I'm doing really, really if good. If I could look like that now. now. <laughs> but oh, he's, a, he's a beast, you know? But he's completely dedicated to that, you know? And he he's, he's, likes to keep his body and his, you know, his mind sharp, so. It's... 
It concerns me because starting a family at 43 and, and uh, Bernie Burns from Rooster Teeth uh, is, you know, he's got a baby on the way doing like maybe three months, four months, something like that. Um, and he and I were just talking about this. It's like his dad was 45 when he had him. Um, I believe it's it's not just a notion that you're as young as you feel or you're, you're as old as you feel. Um, and then Pam like wants to have another kid. I'm like, am I being irresponsible? Like, let's let's say if we have a girl, and this is literally where my mind goes. Like, if we have a girl, what? I mean, this could happen at any moment. We travel a lot. We go on the 405 and traffic is bad. You could die at a moment's notice. Travis lost his dad when he was 14 years old. Life happens. It's not just mm -hmm. age. But it's weird how much now, as an older man, it stops me in my tracks and go, am I being responsible enough? What am, what am I doing for them? Am I robbing them of, of some kind of um, opportunity? Am I robbing them of some memories? Am I robbing them of some life? Because I might not be... My dad was 23 when he had me. I was 29, I think, when I had Coop. God. <clears throat> I don't know what the answer to that is. For Keep your it... old sperm to yourself. <laughs> it forces me to go, I may not have tomorrow. But nobody does. But I have today. Yeah, but nobody has tomorrow. Of course. And that's the thing. You know, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've talked to people with anxiety and fear about that kind of stuff. I'm like, you can't, you can't, it's useless to have fear over things you can't control. You have no, you have, it's useless to have fear in those situations, but things that you have no control over. Sure. You know, people say, oh, I'm just afraid of skydive. It's like, <clears throat> but you're not afraid to drive down the street when at any moment, any one of those cars can just, and you're gone. <laughs> infinitely more, by yeah, the way, it's, statistically, st statistically speaking, infinitely more dangerous. Yeah, you know, so it's it's a dangerous world. It's a dangerous life, but you just you just do your best. You just, just strap it on every day and like, here we go. I would hope that I would have Im imbued some wisdom. Like I, I think about, Disney does this a lot, where they take away a parent especially the formative parent that, that at some point in the story later, there's, there's a lesson that needed to be learned. Um, I would hope that I would have the same presence of mind to like, I need to instill in you some truth because like even like this morning I, I walked out the door and I was so, I really wanted Traveler to be awake before I left just cause I wanted to see him. And he was like, I'm still sleeping dude. And I left super early and I'm going to hop on a plane. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go. It's like, I want you to know, I think about those videos all the time. Yeah, but the great thing is, I've seen you, you know, you have, this is a day and age where you have FaceTime. FaceTime you is do amazing. do those things, you can be there. You know, I mean, my kids are 16 and 19. We don't really have that. Mm -hmm. We have it now, and that's great. But Disney does, this is the formula Disney uses because most people, the majority of people, have a parent. So the idea of losing a parent, you create an immediate underdog. Someone yes. to root for, yes. and then any of the villains who are villainous toward that character are the biggest meanie you can worst. imagine. Because oh, especially like Scar, who knows he lost his body, who set him up. I mean, oh, so the comeback kid. I mean, I that's where that's where you get the chills. Do you want to try to beat <clears throat> Scar real quick? Huh? You want to try to beat Scar real quick? I can't get past a hippo's ass. <laughs> I should. Oh, look at that mean face. Oh, please tell me you've mapped. Give a roar whenever you're ready. Just one way. Don't let him hit you with the, anything until you. Oh, can I not slash? What button? It's B. But I don't know if my... Hear, hear the roar when you want. Oh, see, when he hits you, you lose your roar. So I think you gotta wait till the roar is full. I'll tell you where the roar is full almost. And nope, he got you. Yeah, almost full of a roar. Almost full of a roar. Roar now. Nope, you lost it. You gotta roar when he's ready to go. I pushed the button. Which 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 is roar? Okay. 
I also want to know, I feel like I have invincibility, either that or I'm doing very well. What's crazy though is he, he doesn't have any kind of... Oh! <laughs> Game over! Ah, oh, come on! Lion King is not good to fathers and sons. No! So, you know what? I say fuck the Lion King. <laughs> I'm definitely more of an Aladdin fan myself. Uh, I love Lion King. I think Nala was my first cartoon crush. But yeah, this is kind of, uh, it's kind of bumming me out. I want to like, I want to come up to the surface a little bit. Let's leave dead fathers where they are. Yeah. Are you good with uh, that? Yeah, I just, this is, this is not. All right. You know what? We have a bevy of games to get through. Oh, uh, well, um, if you haven't seen it, go see this movie. It's awesome. <laughs> the original, not the The original. Remake. Uh, Disney's uh, the, the, this one's coming out right or is it out by now I don't know I don't really care this thing came out to me in 94 so that's all uh, yeah just because you have CGI this is so brilliant with yeah. the whole thing so um, go see it or watch it whatever in the meantime and, yeah. we ask you what are we playing next Don't you say that. I'm gonna need a to top off before we even start. Yeah, one more beer and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna come out with something. 